All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to a new week, a strong week, with myself, BFit Ambassadors Roy Montes and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? I'm good. I feel pretty energized. So. <laughs> Do you? Uh, well, that's great. We're going to need all the energy that we have for today because we have a great cardio-based workout available, available for us today. Um, but if you're, let's start off with our, our, our viewers here. If we're new to the program, uh, let's go ahead and join in, welcome in, uh, find our space. Uh, if you have any resistance, like one dumbbell or one kettlebell, let's go ahead and grab that. That's all we will need, which we'll is be one uh, piece of equipment to add some resistance to our movements for today. Um, welcome in. Today is uh, our cardio-based workouts. Uh, this is our BFIT Live program. This is a chance for us to move our bodies and, and kind of start off the week nice and strong for us today. So um, again, let, let's take the time that we need to, to really kind of feel out where we are at today, but really have fun with today's movements and push through. Uh, there's some functional movements here with us for today that we may not realize that we do on a daily basis, but applying it into some sort of controlled uh, fitness program can really help elevate you outside of the gym. So uh, with that team, uh, join us here today. Leave us a note in the comments. Let us know how you're doing, where you're joining, where you're watching from. Uh, again, this is our Exchange BFIT program, one component of our BFIT program on our 360 holistic approach to our health and wellness. So as we get settled in, let's go through the movements for today. Uh, that way we know exactly what we're getting into for today. Since today is episode 99 of our BFIT Live program workouts, that's gonna be our rep count for today on the majority of our movements. Again, we have four movements that we're gonna go through for today. So, starting off with movement number one, we have jump squats and squat pulses. And you see the rep counts in between or right at each of those. Uh, movement number two is going to be a dumbbell snatch, which will be a low bo lower body and upper body combo movement. Movement number three, we have high knees and lateral hops. Nine and nine of each of those. And movement number four, is going to be one inchworm and nine wide mountain climbers to really engage our core out of that high plank position. Our timing for today is gonna to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds within those four movements that we'll complete throughout each round. Sound good, sound great? amazing um energy that's all all we ask for today is some energy some efforts uh, a little bit of a smile it goes a long way on today's workout again if you're new if you're joining us drop us a note in the comments and this is a great time to really share this workout with your friends your family your coworkers, your spouses to help keep each other accountable uh because it, when things get tough and they will and they do uh we're really looking at uh that support uh like a work workout partner uh to really help push you through to that next level and to those next rounds uh, four rounds for today. However, if you wanted to really scale up and extend the workouts, go ahead and five or six or seven rounds is what you can accomplish uh, on the back end. Just you know, keep running through the timing, keep running through the movements. But uh, with that, so let's go ahead and find our space again, and we'll go ahead and demonstrate each of the four different movements for today. So starting off with movement number one, Sarge, where do you want to sure. uh, start us off with a jump squat and squat pulses? Nine and nine is going to be the rep count here. So we have movement number one is going to be our jump squat. So we're going to find that uh, <clears throat> our feet, our shoulder width apart. We're going to drop down into our low squat position and then drive up with a little bit of air in between you and your feet. So we have nine of these pushing our hips back, keeping our chest up out of those squat jumps. After that, we're going to find that low squat position. We're going to raise up halfway, right back down, raise up halfway and right back down. That's going to be the squat pulses nine of those and then we will cycle back through the nine squat jumps and then squat pulses okay that's going to be movement number one movement number two we're going to grab one dumbbell here <clears throat> we're going to find our feet shoulder width apart we're going to go ahead and take that dumbbell palm facing the back of the room here because we're going to drop down grab that dumbbell and extend up drive up through our hips through our lower body and rack in that front rack position which is essentially mimicking a hammer curl so from the front part of our body here, 
hammer curl into that front rack position, that's going to be a dumbbell snatch. So since this is some unilateral work, meaning we're working one side of the body and then the other, we're going to split this time in half for 20 seconds. All right, so 20 seconds on our right side, 20 seconds on our left side. Be mindful if once we come down to the floor here, we're really just dropping down into a low squat position. So try to keep your chest up as much as possible and you're fi you'll find yourself driving from your lower body rather than your lower back. Okay, which is what we want. We want the lower body work and then we want that upper body movement into that snatch. Okay, movement number three, we have high knees and lateral hops team. Okay, so nine high knees and nine lateral hops. So we're thinking explosive movements here out of our high knees. So opposite knees as we drive up, nine high knees. And then we have nine lateral hops for some lateral work here. So set yourself up. Pretend we have an imaginary cone or a, a line, or if you have a dumbbell that you'd like to uh, jump over, that could be a great uh, barrier to really think about that. But we have nine high knees, and then we have nine lateral hops to get us through, but be careful with whatever we may have on the floor there. But to really think about that lateral movement here, we have nine and nine. So nine high knees and nine lateral hops for an explosive movement. And to finish this out, uh, on movement number four, we have one inch worm and nine wide mountain climbers. So, so everybody, you wanna start at the back of the room here. We're gonna come down, reaching for our toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings with that one inch worm. So after that, we're gonna retract out and extend out into a high plank position. While we're here, be mindful of our hand placement. It's gonna be directly underneath our shoulders. Nice plank position here, so nice strong core hips are square to the floor. From there, we have nine wide mountain climbers. So that just means our feet are gonna come out wider than our shoulder width. So just like we would regular mountain climbers where we're driving to our chest, these were just swinging out just a little bit more into those nine wide mountain climbers. So one inch worm, nine mile wide mountain climbers, and then we are coming back up to start it all over again from the top of the four movements. All right, team, how's that sound? Sound good, sound great? All right, let us know in the comments below. Um, <clears throat> leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing, team. Let us know, uh, again, where we're joining from, where we're watching from. We are excited. We are glad to have you here. Episode 99, team. 99, one shy, uh, which we'll be hitting that 100th episode next week. So we are excited to have you in. We are excited to have you here. Uh, and just, uh, again, starting that community here with our BeFit Nation team. So Sergeant Barry and myself, we look like we are ready to go. And we will go ahead and start off with some dynamic stretches. That way we can get our bodies ready to work. That way we are not cold. Uh, and so injury prevention here, we wanna go ahead and warm up our bodies here. So let's start off with that quad stretch here. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back towards that hip, feeling that stretch in our quad, and that's exactly right. We're gonna put one hand up in the air and you're gonna feel that stretch in your shoulders, a little bit of mobility work within our shoulders as well as our mid to upper back and pushing our hips forward. You can feel that stretch in your quad with your leg extended back. And then <clears throat> within our arm raise on that mid to upper back and shoulder. So we'll sit in each of these stretches for about 30 seconds here. Going at our own pace. Nice deep breath in and deep breath out. There we go team. Last three seconds here. Two, one. Let's go ahead and take a wide step here. So our toes are gonna to be fixed forward to the front of the room. All right, team, so we're gonna shift our weight over to the left and or to the right. So casually and non-aggressively here, we're just leaning towards the left and the right here, team. Feeling that stretch on the inside of our thighs, getting some blood flow moving to our lower body here, keeping our chest up. Left and right here. Again, just working on some mobility work here. Warming up our lower bodies, keeping our chest up here as well. About 30 seconds. And you can sit in each of these movements again for as long or as short as you may need. Feel out your body, see where we are today. Last three, last two, last one here, team. We're gonna set, step up to the front of our workout space here. We're gonna take our right leg. We're gonna extend it back into a reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down. Reach up with that right arm and reach over to the left with your right arm. You're going to feel that stretch all the way down your lats here. 
and you'll feel some of that stretch within our hips, our hip flexors, dropping down on that rear knee and reaching over here, team. Good. And again, this could be uh, as long or as quick of a tempo as you need. Good. Nice deep breaths here. Last five seconds here. I'm gonna double time it. <laughs> last two, last one. All right, team. Let's go ahead and move in those shoulders just to kind of get that body moving here. So we're gonna take nice, big, wide circles with our right arm. Again, working on mobility. We do have some high plank positions. That dumbbell snatch may activate some of our shoulder as well. So come into a nice smaller circle with my right arm. And let me go ahead and take that backwards, team. Let's go ahead and take that backwards. Good, episode 99. I know, it's incredible. <laughs> Uh, Sergeant Barry and I, as we rotate over, switch over to our left side here, nice wide circles going into a smaller circle. We were talking about how we first started. I was outdoors, Sergeant Barry was indoors, and we were on cell phones. Uh, <laughs> just just communicating through cell phones in our, in our Zoom link. And, uh, with through the pets pandemic, for guests. With pets and, for guests. Yeah. And now look, we have TC, Randy, T, we have the whole crew here. All right, making our way backwards. I said, TC, yes, I did. We got control room, mission control, back behind the screen here, you don't know. Making it right. happen. Right? Making it happen, team, for us. So we are happy to have you in as we get warmed up. Take this time to, if you have any additional movements that we need to take care of, let's go ahead and do that here. Find that water before we get started. We're gonna get that clock ready to go. There it is. Remember that team I said? That's 40 <laughs> seconds, right there. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. All right, remember, movement number, movement number one is gonna be your nine jump squats and your nine squat pulses. Thank you, sir. Movement number two is going to be your dumbbell snatch. So you'll just grab one dumbbell. Thank you, sir. Movement number three is gonna be those nine high knees and nine lateral hops. And movement number four to round us out is going to be your one inch worm with nine wide mountain climbers. Really engaging our core here. Ready, man? I'm so ready. <laughs> Let's go, team. Let's go. Flex. Flex on them. Ah, okay, team. All right, 40 seconds on the clock. We'll start in 10. Nine jump squats, nine squat pulses. We are up in five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. Looking down, 40 on the clock here into our nine squat jumps. Good. Out of your nine, find that low squat position. Halfway up, halfway down. So pulsing here out of your nine. So where a counter would be great. Eight, nine, and then directly into your squat jumps. You can really feel your legs warming up right now. Last 10 seconds here. Last five, three, two, one, and time. Hello quads. Hello quads, hello glutes. Uh, They're up and ready to work here. Grabbing one dumbbell here. <clears throat> Remember, we have that dumbbell snatch, so we are going to start palm facing the back of the room here, dropping down into your low squat position, so your chest should be up and into that front rack position with a hammer curl style. Hammer curl style. So 40 on the clock here. A lot of your momentum is driving up through that lower body, so be aware, driving up through your heels, quads, glutes. Five more seconds, and we will go ahead and switch sides. Last two. And let's go ahead and switch. Good, so our biceps should be activated on that top position here. Good. Last seven. Good. Out in three, two, last rep here. And <laughs> good work, good work. Let's go ahead and drop these, uh, drop that one. We have high knees and lateral hops. Again, nine to nine here is going to be the magic number. Nine high knees, nine laterals. Coming up in two, one, here we go, team. There we go. <laughs> 
should end up on the opposite side. Good. Drive those knees up. Try to get some air up here. Good. Nice lateral work here. Aim to absorb that weight. Last 10. Now here's a great modification here. If we need to step over, but maybe stepping or jumping isn't within our scope today. Step it out here. 20 seconds of rest here. Finding the back of our space, we have one inch worm and nine wide. All right, I know my heart rate is elevated. <laughs> All right, team, three seconds here. We're gonna find the back of our space. Two, one, 40 on the clock here, reaching down to our toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings. Left and right here on our mountain climbers. Remember those hands are just directly underneath our shoulders, keeping those hips nice and square. You're back into your one here, touching those toes, coming out to your high plank. Good. Last 10, team. Good. Retract back, extend up for that two, that one, and time. One round, flying by here today. Here's the last one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, team. Again, let us know how you're doing. So great to see everyone in here as well. 99, show, show us some, some love, BFit Nation. Let us know um, 99 episodes. Where, where are we at? How many, uh, how many have we joined with us? I hope it's a weekly basis. <laughs> 27 seconds here, team. Again, we're gonna start from the back of our, or the top of our movements, rather. So we have those jump squats and those squat pulses in 20 seconds. Hydration is key here. We're gonna need it. Find that hydration, team. Hmm. All right, eight seconds here. All right, round two out of four. We are up in three, two, one. Kicking off with jump squats. Low squat position, drive up. Good. Keep our chest up. Good. And again, if jumping isn't our thing today, it's not within our scope. Let's go ahead and drive up. Out of that, find that low squat position. Oh. And we have squat pulses. It's all right. I did. We're excited. We're okay. Yeah. 15 seconds and we're out. Good. All right, team. In and out here. Good. Work through here. Out in five. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> So episode 99 isn't it's, uh, easy to remember, but counting my reps <laughs> isn't as easy as <laughs> dumbbell snatch here. Let's grab one weight. <laughs> All right, team, five seconds here. Hey, you did the right move. I did that. <laughs> All right, team, here we go. Dropping down, keeping that chest up. Drive up to those lower body. Do that lower body. Drive up to those legs, through those quads. Engaging our glute here. Glutes. 30 seconds. 10 more seconds here, we'll go ahead and switch sides. Good, five more. Two, go ahead and alternate here. There we are, team. Stay with us here. 12 and out here, team. Again, it doesn't take a lot of weight to execute this movement here. Driving through our glutes, our lower body's at. Getting activated, two, one. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put that one bell away. We have high knees and lateral hops here. High knees and lateral hops. This is what we've been waiting for. This is it. I couldn't wait. Number one. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <I'm really. laughs> All right, team. Here we go. Up in two. Up in one. Nine high knees. Nine lateral hops. Be mindful of that nice controlled bound here. Got some extra. Good. There we are. Ten seconds here, team. 
There we go. Out in three, finish it out. Two, one, recover here. Yeah, apparently my hair likes this one too. <laughs> same, same team. Find the back of our space here. We're gonna get ready for that one inch worm and nine wide mountain climbers. <laughs> Ooh. All right, team, here we go. Up in three, two, 40 on the clock here, reaching down to our toes into that wide plank, high plank position from here into your nine, four, six, eight, nine. Retracting back, back up to standing. Nice control, take that breath if you need. Extend back down, reach for those toes. High plank position here, 15 out. There we go, team. Good. Out in four. Last two. Last one. And time. 60 seconds here. Find that water. Find that break. If we need. If we need it. Keep moving, right? Keep moving around. Moving through that recovery phase here, if you will. 44 seconds. Again, if you're just joining us, welcome to our BeFit Live program workout. Beef and Ambassador Roy Monte is here with Senior Mass Sergeant. Okay. <sighs> 30 seconds here. Uh, Sergeant Brady, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Tell us, uh, tell, tell, tell us here uh, some of the enjoyments, uh, some of the high points that you have with, with our lives. 99 in so far. So honestly, I noticed a huge change in, in strength mm -hmm. and just overall like feeling being healthier. Yeah. Um, which really just makes your lifestyle better. So All right. it's made a huge difference. I've really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. And having a community to work out with, right? It pushes you. Otherwise, I'm probably like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. You're right. So a community, uh, again, one step at a time, one rep at a time, week after week, pushing through, you know, uh, sometimes it's, you don't know what you can do until you push through that threshold of difficulty. And your body will adapt. You know, week after week here with our lives, uh, some movements that we felt, you know, would have been challenging early on. Um, you know, we've just built that solid foundation. And so that's what's great about the live workouts, but just being active. Three seconds here. Two, one, stand back up here. Walk it out. Shake it off. <laughs> and do a little dance. A little dance. <laughs> Don't mind that. Don't, Don't try that at home. Don't try that. That's one of those one of those advanced moves we were just like. Five seconds here, team. Two. One on the right hand side here. Drop down to your low squat. Drive up. Good. Again, a few call outs here. When we drop down into our low squat, keep our chest up. Push those hips back. Trying to fill up that chest face the floor. And then when we get to standing position, let's go ahead and switch arms. Palm face the back of the room. Think about engaging our bicep into that front hammer curl front rack position. Good. Across our bodies. There we go. Good. Last two. Last one. And time. Good job. Good job. A little team for one there, right? Lower body activated. Some upper body movements. High knees and lateral hops. Don't forget your heart rate. And what's great about, <laughs> let's talk about digital trackers, right? We can really dial in our nutrition, our calories, our steps with the digital tracker. And the exchange has you covered <laughs> with digital trackers, smart watches, fitness trackers. One more for us. Good. Almost there, team. Just going in out. Good. Last 13. Good. Out in 10. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Um, I will say it's warming up in here. However, it's not as hot as it is in this Texas sun uh, later on. So, <laughs> uh, 
All right, team. Three seconds here, one inch worm time, nine wide. Here we go, team. Finding that low toe taps here, walking out to our high plank into our nine. Good. Again, I like how Sergeant Barry is controlled with her mountain climbers. Really showing you that tempo of control. Also, if you can speed up to a faster tempo and we're there, let's go ahead and do it. Retract back here. Coming back up to standing. Good job. Last two, last one. Perfectly timed. Yes. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. Where's that hand clap here? There we are. 50 seconds here. Took us 99 to get a full applause. Good work, team. All right, 45 seconds here. Again, this is our time to really dial in our hydration. Don't mind if I do here, team. With cardio movements, with cardio-based workouts, this is specifically geared to get our heart rate elevated, to burn those additional calories. All right, team. If we've been seated for a long period of time, these are great foundational movements to kind of add into any type of program, whether you're trying to get your heart rate elevated. Functional movements here that we may be doing outside of the gym. However, we may not be thinking about those high knees or that squat position, right? That squat foundation, uh, touching down to our toes, coming out into a high plank position. All functional movements here that we use on a weekly basis. Hmm. Five seconds here, last and final round, last round, best round. All right, team, nine jump squats, here we go. Get a little bit of air area between you and your feet here, if you can. If it's a step out, let's go ahead and do it. Out of your nine, find that low squat position, push those hips back, keep that chest up. You can see that knee tracking over our toes here. 20 seconds left. Good, drive up. Good. How high are you jumping, team? Last round, good. Control, nice soft bound here. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Good, I think every one of these movements deserves a clap afterwards because it is requiring a lot of effort here to uh, get through these rounds. All right, team. Five seconds here, dumbbell snatch. Right side, 20 seconds, left side, 20 seconds. Two, one. Here we go, team. Good. Look at that hand on the hip here. <laughs> 30 seconds, team. Again, with our B-Fit lives. Five seconds, we'll switch arms. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and reset here. Left arm doing the work here. Really thinking about how much movement we can compact into a short time frame. And with these 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, we really dial in how many movements we can do within those four movements. So total body, full body workout here is the goal to achieve, whether it's a cardio-based movement, or a resistance-based movement. Compacting the movements into the time, right? Making it most, as, most, as efficient as possible. Here we go, team. Two, one, here we go, team. Take your time here. Stay with us. Push through, watch any weight you may have on the floor. Good. Lateral hops, harder than they look. <laughs> Good, last 10 seconds, team. Out of three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. Last and final movement here, team. I know, doing the hard work over here. Eight seconds, we'll find the back of our space. One inch worm, nine wide. Remember, nine is gonna be our special rep count here. Episode 99, touching our toes here, out into our high plank position, attacking that core, forcing us to balance and stabilize. Good, nice flat back, hips are up. 
Contracting back here. A little bit more effort and energy. Coming back into that high plank. Eight, 15 and out team. Good, touching our toes, coming back up for air. Out in five seconds here team. Finishing it out all the way. Last round, best round, last set, best set. And <laughs> let, me, let me continue the work here. <laughs> Deep Fit Nation. Good job. Good work, good work. Sergeant Barry. Uh, virtual high five here to the front. Good work, team. Good work. Yeah, no. TC has us covered over here on the right side house left uh good work today yeah again uh, 99th episode nine was our magic number on rep counts to kind of add to the theme of our 99th episode um as we catch our breath here uh <laughs> anything um let me, get, let me just 99th is, is there one not maybe not a specific workout but is there one event or one kind of movement or or something that kind of sticks out a little bit more than the, than the rest in these in the past 99th episodes. Maybe it was, um, maybe it was overcoming a challenge or movement, or maybe it was progressing in a movement that you thought may have been a weaker uh, movement early on in episode one through 99. Uh, yeah, I think my arm strength mm -hmm. is when we started and I was at home, I was using like two pound weights mm -hmm. and like today, I'm not bragging or anything, but right, I was right. lifting some 15 pounds. Right. I, I remember early on, we strictly stuck to body weight movements, right? Sure. Uh, yep. Maybe our viewers and, and ourselves, we were going through that same challenge of not having uh, weights and, and different types of uh, gear in our possession through the pandemic. And yep. so, um, you know, then we introduced some weights and said, hey, you know, if we, if we have that resistance available, if, if we saw some of our viewers saying, hey, we have... We have the, they, these, these items in our possession as well. Can we apply this to some of these same movements, you know, during our body weight movements? Yeah. And um, just like you're saying, from two pounds flexibly, you know, to uh, where we're at now. And I think uh, you've grown so much in strength and in, in, in form and function and, and, and in your, your testing. So <laughs> yes, yes, that's a bonus, right? <laughs> no, it, it is. And I yeah. think that's a, a testament to just being active in, a, on, 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 in, in dedication and consistency, wouldn't you say? So. Yeah, well, I owe it to the team, yeah, so the, everyone, thanks for joining us, of course, Roy. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, yeah and you know, I, I, it's, it's proud to say that out of 99 episodes, not one episode has been exactly the same. Sure. I'll tell you that, team. So, um, and then this is a great kind of segue into, if you were looking for those additional workouts, maybe uh, these cardio-based movements may not be um, you know your strong suit or what may, you know what you what you may be trying to achieve with your goal setting so if it's resistance based movements or it's a, a balance of both we have you covered within our Facebook page under our playlists uh, we have a full catalog of BFIT live workouts the past 98 login 99 um, totally different not one has been uh, exactly the same some of the same movements but structured differently and program differently so that way it complements one another uh, from one movement one to two to two to three and three to four. So I think finding that benefit of, of, of what you're trying to achieve and the specific workout that can really help benefit you to achieve those goals with our BFIT Live workouts is, it can go a long way for you team. <laughs> so uh, with that, I mean, great work today. Today was not an easy one team. It was, it was definitely challenging geared, purposely geared to, to get your heart rate elevated and burn those additional calories while we were working today within a, a 20 minute, near, nearly 20 minutes workout. So uh, again, with that, our exchange and our BFIT program, we have you covered in any type of active gear, your lifestyle gear, uh, training gear, and, and just the health and wellness perspective into our daily lives team. Shop us online at shopmyexchange.com or visit us in store at your nearest installation Again, for active wear, for gear, for sport wear, for those digital trackers that we were talking about to really help dial in our metrics and help gauge us and track us and encourage us. I, I, for some, um, metrics and, and, and numbers can be a real motivation uh, to taking those additional steps, to taking those additional miles, to 
logging in that movement throughout the day. And so to be able to track those uh, with your fitness tracker, um, maybe it's counting um, you know, calories and things like that. Uh, so to keep us on step and to see how much we're burning throughout the day can really help um, gear us and, and set us up to refueling at a later date. Uh, speaking of recovery and things of that nature, step into our exchange malls and you can see our wellness services that the exchange has to offer. Anything from optical centers and to opt optometry, optometry care, excuse me, chiropractic care, dental, uh, durable medical equipment can brace you and help sustain you uh, throughout your movement and day-to-day -day lifestyle. Or shopmyexchange.com forward slash wellness has additional information on our wellness services. As you go through our exchange main stores, wellness services, look for nutrition. Nutrition is key, about 80-20. Uh, so find those wellness, so those better for you options that you can surf through our exchange restaurants. More than 1,700 restaurants that can help dial you in on a nutritional uh, platform here, team. So refueling is key, uh, just as just as important as that active um, lifestyle team. So really look at that nutrition. Uh, from there, go to our exchange stores, uh, nice and convenient uh, convenience stores, if you will. Look for those healthier choice shelf tags, more than 400 items that house uh, these healthier choice shelf tags that can really help take the guesswork out of smart snacking options. Uh, it could be low sodium or low in sugar or high in protein or low calorie options. Uh, there's more than 400 items that have these healthier choice shelf tags that take the guesswork out of smart snacking options team. And if you're looking for any additional information, we have you covered team. Go to shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit. That's going to be our exchange hub where we have a wealth of information that lives and is actively living on there. So we replenish weekly as far as workouts, as far as nutrition, wellness services, and gear. Additional information, scan the QR code on screen, take that screenshot, scan it for, and share it. Matter of fact, share that QR code for those who may be needing uh, that extra and additional information uh, out of your Exchange BFIT program team. Again, we are here to help support you and your active lifestyle to help you stay ready, to help you stay resilient, and to help you stay fit, team. So again, uh, myself, Roy Montes here, and my partner for 99 episodes here, Sonny Berry. Um, real quick, I'd like to thank you as well for pushing me every step of the way. And I know um, from our first episode to here, uh, we have both grown and seen our viewers grow and to see how they've responded to this community and these workouts and your positive messages and uh, your encouragement and your uh, just your wonderful kind words that you've shared to us on how uh, you all have benefited and from your support as well. Sergeant Barry, thank you so much uh, from my end to you. So thank you. And one more to go for 100. So we're happy to be here. We're happy to share it with you all. So again, thank you so much for joining us today on our BeFit live program workout, episode 99 in the books. Signing off here. Ramon with us here. Bye team. <laughs>